can't understand it. I mean, at first it was no big problem. We'd see a few roaches and we'd spray and that'd be that. Now they're everywhere. That's the way it usually happens. Once you spot the first roach, you're usually faced with an invasion. That sounds like Frank's family. <laughs> but, I mean, why us? I keep a very clean house. Well, roaches will infest any home. It doesn't matter how clean you keep it. And once they're in, they multiply. In fact, two German roaches can create a family of over 400,000 in less than a year. German roaches? Well, there are many species of roaches, Mrs. Poundstone. German roaches are just the most common. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why the woman from your office asked us to save that for you. Frank bagged it running across my dresser last night. Uh-huh. It's a German roach. You may have more than one kind of roach, Mrs. Poundstone, oh. but all roaches need the same things, food, water, and shelter. That's why we ask you to remove everything from your bathroom and kitchen cabinets. Those are always problem areas. And since your husband found this roach on your dresser, well, we'll concentrate on that area as well. Mrs. Poundstone, if you could just take a minute to clean out the dresser, you could just place the clothes on the bed. Sure. Anything that'll help. Great. We'll go ahead and finish up our inspection up here and uh, meet you down in the kitchen in a few minutes. Great. Thanks. I could have sworn I stashed an energy bar in here somewhere. Well, the bathroom seemed to be ready. How does it look in here? Well, the kitchen's ready, but we're going to have our hands full in the basement. It's a real mess down there. Oh, here. great. Look, why don't you go ahead and head back to the truck? I'll stay here and wrap up the inspection with Mrs. Poundstone. You want me to get the equipment? Yeah, bring in the service container and fill one B&G with clean out strength Safferton EC plus GenCore IGR. All right. Well, the drawers are empty. What's next? Well, we're about ready to begin treating the house. Are you sure you guys can get rid of these roaches? I mean, we've tried everything and they keep coming back. Yes, ma'am. In fact, I've brought you a brochure that will help explain in more detail why roaches are so difficult to get rid of. Now, we're going to do what we call integrated pest management, which is a combination of both chemical and non-chemical control procedures. Basically, we use an adulticide to kill the roaches in combination with an IGR to prevent the spread of future generations. What's an IGR? Uh, IGR stands for Insect Growth Regulator. It's a product that stops roaches from being able to reproduce. Oh, I should have called you sooner. <laughs> well, we're about ready to get started. Um, because of our treatment in the basement, you'll need to stay out of the house for two hours. Is that going to be a problem? No, no problem at all. I'll be next door if you need me. Terrific. Thanks. I'm going to give you roaches till sundown to get out of town. We'll uh, start here in the kitchen. Let's make sure to treat all the Harbridge areas thoroughly, as well as the paths the roaches are most likely to travel when they're foraging for food and water. Now, why don't you go ahead and treat the appliances, such as the refrigerator and the stove and the dishwasher, and I'll get started on the cabinets over the counter. Yet. Be sure to remove the grate below the refrigerator door. The drip pan often provides roaches with water. Treat the bottom of the refrigerator and the floor. Make sure you treat down the sides and especially around the back. Be careful when applying dust around the refrigerator. If the fan kicks on, it could easily blow the dust onto non-target areas. For access under the dishwasher, you may need to remove the plate, then treat along the sides, and here, between the top of the dishwasher and the bottom of the counter. Pay special attention to harborage areas around the stove. Be careful not to apply any insecticides inside the cooking compartment. And remember, if you're working around a gas stove with pilot lights, be sure the product you're using is non-flammable. How are you treating the cabinets, Jim? Well, using low pressure and a crack and crevice tip, I'm treating the crack where the inside shelves meet the side and back walls. 
In fact, this track is an ideal spot for roaches to hide. I'll then treat where the cabinet meets the wall on the top. And the bottom, if possible. Now, the countertops are usually another problem area. But as you can see here, it's sealed so well, treatment isn't necessary. So, Dave, tell me, how are you going to treat this cabinet below the sink here? Well, I'm going to do a number of things. I'll use my flashlight to look for harborage areas, while using a mirror to help me inspect the inside front of the cabinet. After treating those areas, I'll treat this void, which is another ideal spot for roaches. Since there's no easy access here, I'll simply drill a hole in an inconspicuous spot and use the aerosol. A dust application will also work well here, and if we don't seal the hole, we can treat here again on our follow-up visits. Now for the pipe chase, I'll continue to use the aerosol for good penetration. I'll also blow some dust in here, since this is always a problem area. I'll finish up in here by dating a roach trap and placing it on this pipe. It'll help us monitor today's results as well as save us time during our follow-up treatment. Yeah, I noticed earlier Mrs. Poundstone forgot to empty out this closet. And since it's so cluttered, we won't spray in here. Instead, we'll use a roach trap and a couple of bait stations. Now, as you know, roach traps alone won't eliminate a problem. But as you mentioned earlier, they do make good monitoring tools. That's right. And the bait stations will work especially well in here since there's no alternative food sources. Bait stations also work well in areas where you simply can't spray, like TVs, computers, smoke alarms, and stereos. Another method that works well in these areas is to spot treat places roaches will travel while foraging for food and water. Pretty fancy dining room, huh, Jim? Yeah, it's interesting. Well, this looks pretty easy. Why don't you just spray down the baseboards and I'll meet you in the bathroom. Well, oh, Dave, Dave, Dave. See, we don't have any baseboard jockeys working for our company. In here, we'll inspect the furniture, the door frames, and the baseboards for cracks and crevices, and we'll only treat when necessary. All right, here's a good example. Come here, look at this. You see this molding here? It's real tight. Roaches can't get in there, so there's really no need for treatment here. Jeez. Would you look at all these books? So, Dave, how would you go about treating this area? Well, if we were treating for brown-banded roaches, this would be a real problem. But for German roaches, I suggest we inspect and treat where possible without moving all the books. Then we could hide a few roach traps and bait stations and check them on our next visit. Great minds think alike. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll finish up here. Why don't you go on head upstairs and start taking care of the master bathroom? All right. How's it coming? Good. Just about finished here. I used the Safferton aerosol to treat the wall void next to the waste pipe. I also pulled the pipe collars back and treated the void behind the hot and cold water pipes. Then, after pulling the vanity drawer out, I treated the drawer glides. Now the tub and the pipe collars are sealed tight, so I didn't treat them. But I did treat the crack around the faucet. The medicine chest also had several possible harborage areas, so I treated them carefully. And I was just about to place this roach trap under the sink. Good. Let's head under the bedroom. I almost forgot. You'll need to treat the sink's overflow drain as well. Use your pyrethrin-only aerosol. Remember, never use residuals here. Even I'd have a hard time sleeping knowing there were roaches in my bedroom. Yeah. 
It's a good thing Mrs. Poundstone doesn't know that cockroaches will feed on people while they're sleeping. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and check the, uh, the door frames, the molding, and the bed frame for harborage areas? I'll tend to the dresser by pulling out all of the drawers and look for harborage areas to treat. Jeez, this place is a nightmare. It's kind of damp, too, isn't it? Yeah, and when I was down here earlier, I noticed evidence of American roaches, too. Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me what with all this moisture down here. Yeah. You know, if we're going to get rid of the roaches down here for good, we're going to have to educate the Poundstones on how to get rid of this water. Yeah. Remind me to mark that down in the service report later, will you? All right. To alleviate the moisture here in the basement, they should increase the air circulation by opening these windows, which have been painted shut. They should also cover this soil with a vapor barrier. For now, though, we'll increase the pressure in the B&G, switch to a coarse fan spray, and spot treat the sill plate and header, and the plumbing pipes under the floor. This basement is also an appropriate area for bait stations. Finally, We'll use GenCore Plus foggers to treat the entire basement and crawl area. Okay, we're almost finished. Now, tell me, how would you go about treating the outdoor areas? Why don't I show you? <laughs> okay. Naturally, I need to treat all areas where insects can gain entrance to the home, such as the pipe chases, electrical conduits, window frames and the door frames. These areas should also be sealed up after treatment. A perimeter treatment can also prevent roaches from entering a home. Around the entire house, I'll treat the lower part of the foundation wall as well as a few feet away from the house. Well, what do you think? Not bad. I'll go ahead and put the equipment back in the truck. Why don't you take this warning sign, put it on the door, and fill out the service ticket. Make sure you record the name and quantity of each chemical we used here. Okay. okay. I'm really glad you guys got here when you did. I was ready to move out to a motel. <laughs> well, there's no reason to do that now, Mrs. Poundstone. We did a very thorough job. Yep. And after we're finished with our next treatment, we'll be back to pick up the GenCore foggers and air the house out. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. How about a snack before you hit the road? Uh, uh no, no, no I don't think so. Thanks, anyway. Now, here's one last thing, which has really helped our customer relations. It's called our route book. Hmm. Anyone in the company can service this customer simply by following information in the route book. So if there's anything special we'd need to know about the job or the customer, like directions to the house or mm -hmm. names in the household, it'd be in the route book, right? That's right. Hmm. Now, while I'm driving, why don't you go ahead and fill out uh, Mrs. Poundstone's route sheet and list all the chemicals we used this time. All right. See, by keeping accurate records, we'll be able to better rotate the chemicals that we use. Now, why didn't I ever think of that? <laughs> You know, Dave, it seems like you've gotten a lot of good experience from your other job. Well, thanks. But, you know, it seems like we never had enough time to do as thorough a job. <laughs> we never charged this much, either. Well, it's our policy to do the job right, and sometimes that takes more time. We charge for it. Well, the Poundstone's got their money's worth. I think so. Who's next? I don't know. You tell me. I'm driving. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Feenies on Swiss Avenue. Uh -huh. That's only a couple miles from here. Let's see. Oh, they says they're dog yogi bites. Oh, great. Yeah. It also says Mrs. Feeney has to leave by 11 o'clock. Well, that should give us plenty of time. Yeah. But what are we going to do about the dog? Well, I'll tell you what, Dave. Why don't we verify the work order? Just stick your leg out the window and see if he goes for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll just... <laughs>